Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Weasel, and welcome back to the next episode of EchoCraft. And we are flying in towards our base where, in the last episode, we built this new lighthouse. We had to tear down the old one because, well, it just wasn't big enough. <laughs> so, if you missed that, be sure to go back and kind of check out the video. And in between videos, I have been a little bit busy. I've been a very busy weasel. You can see we've got the pathways completely done, not just that little bit that was shown in the time lapse, but I've got it wrapping all the way around the Adventurer's Guild district. I've taken the time to kind of lay out where each of the districts is going to go for our base. We've got a bit of terraforming done over here on the side of the forge building in between that and the lighthouse. Got rid of this mountain that was here. And we're pretty well set for our last two episodes in the guild district but the sun's going down so i'm going to take just a minute to go sleep all right now that we've slept we're all set for what is going to be one of my most ambitious episodes ever right here behind me this build that i've got marked out it's going to be the most expensive build i have ever done yeah the most expensive this includes the nether hub that i designed with 7,000 beacons. This thing calls for 150 stacks of diamond blocks. <laughs> so, I'm out of my mind. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. But, and the really sad part is it's only for six spaces in the entire build. But before we get to that, we've got a little bit of stuff that we need to do for preparation. Not the least of which is getting all those diamond blocks. So, we are going to go out to the far end of, not, not far end, that, not the end, but to the far side of the server. And we are going to get a bunch of terracotta, because that is something else that we need an absolutely insane amount of. Fortunately for us, Pokey has been a little bit busy out there, and he has agreed to sell me some. So, we're going to go and get that real quick. Hi. So, you messaged me saying you need 12 shulkers of terracotta. Yeah. <laughs> Could you uh, tell me why? <laughs> um, so, I have decided to absolutely torture myself. And I am building the most expensive thing I have ever built. Uh-huh. And part of the ironically the most expensive part of this build fits within six blocks i need it for map art right <laughs> i see you're going the sanity or insanity route <laughs> yes in, indeed yeah well i think i have um i haven't counted but there's there's a decent chance i have a good amount of he's because you said you just needed the normal terracotta right correct i'll be getting all the dyes and stuff okay which i mean if you need it for a project or whatever i'm gonna be probably building a world no eater literally anyway. this this whole this whole dig project was literally for the gold you can take okay. all the terracotta you want <laughs> okay so i was gonna build a world the only thing is just over the horizon there and get it too, just so. in the desert or here in the mesa here i, I can show you if you want uh uh, oh, oh you've already started? At. Yeah, I'm, I'm clearing out oh. bushes right now. I've got like half a shulker of dead bushes. Oh, okay. Oh, goody. Magazine salesman. <laughs> I was just going to clear out everything within these four markers. Okay. Down to bedrock. That way I could get the diamonds as well. Okay, so you, so you need it for the terracotta and the diamonds. Correct. Okay. The thing about world eaters, though, is they usually usually can't collect the blocks. If I if I'm right, like they well, usually just world eaters are usually just throw as much TNT at a, at a problem as possible until right. the world's gone. Like I don't I don't think usually so, you can collect the items. I'm gonna modify it slightly to where it basically makes one pass, stops, and then I can go through collect the blocks, make a pass, stop. Right. Okay. So. Still, I feel like a lot, a lot, you're going to lose a lot of it. Probably. Like with the TNT. Probably. 
at that point you just make the world eater bigger to compensate <laughs> i know and the the only other alternative if i've got the terracotta then i could just create a tunnel bore and that'd be a lot cheaper to do as well yeah so, so okay so if i give you 12 shulkers of terracotta you don't have to go through this you can just do a ton right. of normal tunnel bore like Correct. like a normal person <laughs> got it okay <laughs> So I almost want to see you do this though. <laughs> I, I almost want to like just keep my terracotta and let you do whatever the heck you're gonna do. <laughs> okay, well let's go. Let's go and see how much terracotta I have because I'm not sure. I have I have a lot of like the different colors. Oh, you're all the way to the top. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Actually, you you get to the stay at the bottom. Okay. Do you have shulkers with you? Did you bring shulkers with you? I've got some with me. Okay. I'm just going to, like, just throw all the normal terracotta oh, at okay. you, like, down there, and just, just collect it. Like, uh, uh, I feel like this is some Atari game that's kind of similar. Okay, yeah, so just come, you, just, you can just come back here and grab it from those chests up there. Perfect. When okay. you, when you, also, you were saying something about payment yes. as well. Yes, how, how much would you like for all this? Because I know this is a lot of resources. Yeah, this is a lot. Um, I don't know, I haven't actually come up with the price. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I could just, I could just say anything, couldn't I? I just like. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, for. For as much as I'm asking, pretty much, yeah. Do you want an yeah. IOU? Ooh, those can be fun. Those can... Let's see. 20 diamonds and an IOU. How about 20 that? 20 diamonds and an IOU. Perfect. All right, cool. <laughs> there is the 20 diamonds. Yeah. All right. It's a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. I probably shouldn't have like laughed. That laugh was like an evil kind of like. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I didn't mean to this. laugh. That I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to laugh like that. It just came out. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. so, uh -huh. Something inside, something inside me awakened at the sight of an <laughs> IOU for anything. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, though. I do appreciate it. Oh, Next I'll see you some other time. Yep. Thanks, Pope. Thanks to Pokemaniac giving us all of that terracotta, we no longer have to build a world bomber, or world eater, what, whatever the phrase is. But we do still have to get a lot of diamonds. More than I'm willing to go mining for, to be honest. So... I decided that we are going to build a tunnel bore instead of a world eater. This is the ridiculously simple tunnel bore design by Borkin. I'll link it down below. It was used by Mumbo Jumbo in Hermitcraft 7. And we're just going to get it built up and start firing away, make this wall be no longer there. <laughs> and hopefully get us quite a few diamonds on the way. You know? Given my lack of redstone ability, this actually was really simple. <laughs> I'm quite surprised. I only had one of them blow up on me, and that's just because I screwed up putting the piston in to be able to slide the minecart over. So let's see if this works. Trial by fire. That one didn't fire. But the other three did. Okay, this is the one that caused me issues. Why did it not work? I'm going to have to tear that whole thing apart and rebuild it, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Great. Okay, we rebuilt it one block forward. Take two. There we go. 
All right, now we're cooking. So, <laughs> let the decimation of blocks begin. And we're flying back, almost back to our base here. And uh, we finally got all the diamonds that we need. And it took way, way longer than I thought it was going to do. To be honest, <laughs> that's what has made this video so long to make, <laughs> just to get the materials for this build. But we're ready to finally get it going, and I'm just going to go up this water elevator and over to the build site, where all the resources have been gathered together and collected for the build. So this particular build is the tavern for the guild area. This is going to be the final structure that we actually build up. Every, every city, every town that you go to in D&D, you have a tavern that you stay at. It's kind of like the hotels of the world. And so I wanted one for my base as well, to where the adventurers, they come in from the portal, they come in, they sign up at the headquarters there, uh, the office rather, and then they're able to immediately get a room here at the tavern while they're waiting on weapons to be forged or just a general place to crash while they're doing their different adventures. So without any further ado, we are going to go ahead and kick it off at lightning speed. And with that build, now 100%, well, 95% complete, I guess. I still need to do some of the uh, walls down in the kitchen area. I've got wool in there for now. That's not the final form. And, of course, we've got some decorating to do. You can notice it's kind of empty in there. But with that done, everything is built structure-wise in this first section of the base. It's kind of bittersweet because I've enjoyed it. Of course, that wasn't initially planned, but I'm glad the way it worked out. We need to kind of get us some fence line going along here. I'll do that between episodes. And then next episode, we're going to basically finish this section of the base completely. Do all the decorations and stuff. And I hope you guys are enjoying this because I'm having a lot of fun with it. Let me know down below as well because something that we're going to do is during the next episode... 
is we're going to work on these armor stands. And because this is Dungeons & Dragons themed, we need some magic items. But it's got to be Minecraft stuff. So let me know some ideas down below as to what the magic items could be. And I've got some ideas like the Ender Pearl and Ender Chest, stuff like that. And I'd love to hear what you guys think on it. But until next time, remember that there's a storm coming. Weasel Storm. No. 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 They're going to despawn. No. They're going to despawn. No. Yeah. They're going to despawn. I'm supposed to break a tree. Why does it want me to break a tree? Oh, I guess I'll have to go break a tree. No. Yeah, what if I just like... <laughs> got you trapped, Weasel. I got you trapped. Oh, I trapped myself. Uh-huh. Here. Playing keep away. <laughs> Darn it. That lag, I tell you. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Your diamonds. <laughs> Ouch. Get, 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 get. Oh, oh, over. is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? <laughs> you know, I, I see a mini game coming from this. <laughs> who, who picks up the diamonds last? <laughs> oh, you're close. You're close. I <laughs> know I was. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I. I was taking my armor off. That way, you quit taking I didn't thorns. consider that that was a possibility that you could just. Once again, drop the diamonds. <laughs> um, I was in the state of mind that once you picked up the diamonds, it that was, was on it. you forever. <laughs>